Welcome to Our Girl Relationships. On this channel, we talk about problems people face in their day-to-day -day life. Let's start with the video. My girlfriend and I recently found out that she's pregnant. We've been dating for about two years now, and while this was in the plans, it's come way sooner than we expected. We're both excited and have been waiting to tell family for weeks. We just went to the first ultrasound and found out that everything is going well so far and the baby is healthy. My grandmother called and asked if we could come over and hang her new smart TV at her house. On the way over, we came up with a plan on how to tell everyone. Once the TV was hung, I would go over all the new features of the TV as this is the first time they've had a smart TV. We would tell them about screen mirroring and that's when I would mirror my phone and bring up the ultrasound photos. Cue the moment. We've been there for about two hours and have everything mounted and completed. Now mind you, my aunt lives at my grandparents and has been upstairs the entire time. Once I mirrored my phone and showed them, everyone was very excited. My mother, who was also there, began crying because she was so happy. We talked for about only two minutes before my aunt came downstairs and began crying, but she was obviously upset about something. She said that she also would like to make an announcement. She then proceeded to tell everyone that her son and daughter-in-law are preparing to adopt a newborn and that my aunt was against it. Her reasons were that my cousin and his wife already have two kids and that genetically, we wouldn't know what could potentially be wrong with the adopted baby. Her reasons, not mine. She was also upset that she was told weeks after they began the process, which, if you don't know, could take months or even a year. We listened to her cry on and on about this for about 10 minutes before I had enough. We listened to her cry on and on about this for about 10 minutes before I had had enough. I told her that she was making this special day where my girlfriend and I announced to the family all about herself and how she feels about something completely different. Mind you, we had been there for two hours and she waited two minutes after we announced this for her to come down and say this. She immediately went into defensive mode and started trying to guilt trip me and how I reacted, so we just left. Honestly, I didn't even know there was an anti-adoption stance and thought it was honestly a pretty hot take anyways. The rest of the family are on board with them adopting. My girlfriend sat quietly taking this all in and she actually found this whole encounter pretty wild and hilarious. My grandparents didn't say much during this fiasco as they have come to just deal with her. So I was wondering, was I in the wrong and am I the a-hole? Adoptive parent here. Your aunt's views on adoption are literally reprehensible, not to mention archaic. As bad as that is, she tried to sabotage your awesome news. That's even worse than the uniformed crap she spewed trying to make something awesome her kids are doing, that she should be proud of, into something negative. She sounds like a very manipulative, jealous, and selfish person. Not the a-hole. Congratulations to you and your GF about the baby on the way. Not the a-hole. What she did was uncalled for and an a-hole move for sure, if it was intentional. And she should have at least let the room breathe before making her own announcement. Something about that screams attention seeker on her end. The only thing I would call you an a-hole for is somehow feeling entitled to a spotlight and the time and space in the room even though your announcement, just like hers, was extremely abrupt and a spur of the moment decision. Other than that, she's the a-hole. Her reasoning is also terrible and the fact that she even opposed adoption is extremely strange. Children need homes. Not the a-hole. That's messed up. Also, your aunt needs to get a grip. Even with biological kids, you don't get a full family medical history from partners all the time. People used to be weird about things and lie about what was wrong with them because some things were seen as having weird moral components or shameful somehow or just were never properly identified or lost over time. Here's the next story. So I have two elderly parents I don't talk to. They didn't raise me. A lot of family drama, and I'm the youngest of eight children, all of whom I don't talk to aside from my sister who is closest to me in age. I've been an engineer for 20 plus years now, and I've never really put down roots. I own a century home that I've been restoring for the last 10 years, but it sits vacant for months at a time while I'm abroad. Last year, I took a job in Kuwait and won't be back until next year. The only ones allowed in the house are my son and my neighbor, both of whom watch over my house for me while I'm gone. 
I got a call three nights ago from my older sister whom I've never met. She's going through a messy divorce and wants to move into my house until it's over with two of her kids and her grandkid. I said no. She exploded on me saying I've never tried to be a member of the family and suggested that I was the reason my parents split up. I probably am, but I really don't care. All of these people are foreign to me. The sister I do talk to won't talk to me, saying I was heartless and I got angry phone calls from a lot of family members saying much of the same. A lot of guys at work agreed that I should have opened my home to them. Fast forward to today, they had driven there and broken a window to gain entry to my home and my neighbor called me informing me of the situation. I called the cops and told them that I was out of the country and could not return but would like them removed from the property and she was arrested for trespassing. I told them I wasn't pressing charges and I received more angry phone calls saying I shouldn't have said no to begin with and should never have had her arrested. Apparently, most of my family and friends think I'm the a-hole. My neighbor is going to borrow the window and he said that there is a bunch of trash all over the place that I told him to leave. The thing is, she has a great job. She gets paid quite well and she should have just paid for a hotel instead of invading my home. I don't really know. My family consists of my son and sister. Everyone else is just another person. Am I the a-hole? Sorry, it's probably more complex than what I'm posting. Or maybe it's not. I just really need an opinion outside of my sphere. So a little bit more of my background. I was raised by my grandparents. I do not remember my parents when I was younger, and when they divorced when I was two, my mom's parents took me in. Why? My sister assumes it is because my dad told my mom at one point to have no more kids, and yet they had me. That is what my grandparents believed as well, but nobody has ever given me a real reason from the source, and it really isn't important for me to find out. I grew up two states away from the nearest relative, and I had a great childhood. My grandparents passed away when I was 16, they were in their 90s to give further context, and at the reading of my grandpa's will, they wanted me to finish high school and live with one of their friends who agreed and the court agreed to. During the reading, I met my mom, one of my brothers who was 18 years my senior, and my sister who is 4 years my senior. My sister and I talked quite a bit. She was in the army, I was going into the army, how similar we were, etc. She was great and always has been. She is currently stationed in Hawaii and is why she couldn't take the older sister in. Other than those two siblings, I have never met any of the others. They were cut out of my grandparents' lives, so there was never any contact with me either. My mother contested the will because she felt she was entitled to more, being their only daughter, and because the will had been rewritten just three years before my grandmother, and eventually my grandfather passed. The material objects I was given, family heirlooms, pictures, etc., were put into a storage locker and paid for until I was 18. I was cool with that because I didn't have room. While we were packing up the estate, my mom asked me if she could take some of the photos as she didn't have many and I agreed. I was a kid and I was dumb. After a few hours, I noticed my sister, brother and mother were gone and it was just me and my grandparents' friends. And I noticed a year later that a lot of the things were missing. All of the photo albums, their wedding rings which were in a scrapbook I couldn't locate, and other miscellaneous items. I didn't know who to blame, but I felt awful about it and suspected my mother. A year after I found out about the missing stuff, I was informed by probate that the executor of the will failed to pay the taxes on my grandparents' house, and it was lost back to taxes which really upset me, and I blamed my mother because she was the one who contested it to begin with. So I went into the army. At 19, I had my own son and was married shortly after. We invited all of my family once more, but only my sister came. She was stationed in Germany at the time, so it was pretty great. She told me how she was getting married soon and showed me her ring, which was my grandmother's. I asked her about it and she said our mother said it was a family heirloom. Sure, I could have made a scene, but we become close. And she was so happy, so I said nothing. I told her about the missing stuff last year and she said it was probably just a mistake, and that she would also ask about the rings. Six years later, I divorced my wife amicably. There is a story with my ex-wife, but it really doesn't matter. I get along with her, she was a great mother to my son, and is still pretty special to me. My son and I talk every day. Ever since I discovered Skype, it has been our daily routine. Now with FaceTime, I am not sure if Skype still exists, and I have to let him know about his extended family as much as I know. 
About three months ago, my sister told me my mother called me a liar and that she didn't have any of her parents' things. I shrugged it off. I can't change it. Just an important life lesson. And that's the contact I've had with my family. I've never reached out since I was married forever ago. I've never met my dad. All of my brothers and sisters have really great jobs, pharmacist, a doctor, a couple of nurses, therapists, etc. But I really don't know them. They are all self-sufficient from what I'm told. I'm also a little neurotic, so this is how I view the landscape. Black and white. I know that I'm intelligent, but emotions are a landscape which I don't exactly comprehend, and I've never known why. Thus, this is why I've asked for your reactions. To all of you who are kind, thanks. Don't feel bad for me. I love my life. I just don't always understand some of the things in my life. Holy crap. Unless you are terribly misrepresenting the facts, that's one of the clearest not the a-hole around. The title should have been, a lady that I've never met but that happens to be related to me broke into my house and I called the cops. Am I the a-hole? Plus, even if you two were the closest of sisters, the way she behaved, cold calling you to ask to move in your house, breaking a window after being told no, is just awful and deserving of cutting her off. Not the a-hole. This is entitled and rude behavior. She broke the law, didn't respect boundaries, and acted crazy. I'm sorry that you have to deal with so much stress, but you owe them nothing, and her being rude to you if you don't do what she wants only shows that she doesn't care about you, but only about what you could offer to her. Here is the next story. I, M43, have three children, Austin, M21, Jessica, F15, and Kevin, M7. Kevin was adopted last year, but he's a very affectionate kid and has already gotten used to being part of our family. Jessica never spends time with him and always ignores him when he tries to interact with her. I've talked to her about it, but she says I can't force her to accept him as her brother, and my wife doesn't think we should push the issue. It still annoys me. Austin was like that at first, but ever since his girlfriend got pregnant a few months ago, he suddenly has been paying a lot more attention to Kevin. Last night was my grandmother's birthday, and my parents invited every member of our family, which is pretty big. This was the first time I was going to introduce Kevin to everyone in my family, in person, so I was a little nervous. I went to greet every guest, and while I was at it, presented my son to them. Most of them replied cheerfully until I presented Kevin. Once I mentioned he was adopted, their smile just dropped and greeted him coldly. Kevin watched on TV a person introducing themselves with a card, and he wanted to do the same for the party, so he made a few with shiny paper. He gave the cards to the guests we greeted. After dinner, we split and chatted with different guests, and I left Kevin with Austin and my daughter-in-law while I went outside to smoke. I don't usually like smoking in front of Kevin. When I tried to throw my cigarette in the trash can inside the house, I identified one of my son's cards there, all rolled up. I got furious and went to where everyone was and asked who threw the paper there. Everyone kept quiet, but nobody answered me. My mother told me to stop making a scene for a stupid card, and that just angered me even more. I called my daughter and wife and told them to grab Kevin since we were going. I didn't want to spend more time with anyone there. My mother said I was an a-hole for making a scene on my grandmother's birthday. On our way home, my wife told me I should have asked them if they wanted to go, instead of forcing them to do as I say, since my daughter wanted to stay and keep eating. Later, I asked my son what happened after I left the place, but my son says him and the daughter-in-law left shortly after because they also think the card issue was heartless. My son says he would have made everyone show their card, but my daughter-in-law disagrees because Kevin didn't realize what was happening, and it's better that way. Am I the a-hole for abandoning the party like that? Kevin doesn't know about what happened to the card. He and my daughter-in-law were in the backyard seeing my mother's garden. Gardening is her hobby. While it all happened. I told people he was adopted because when I introduced him, everyone kept asking me where did I get him, since my wife never got pregnant. I don't think I did anything wrong. Saying you have an adopted child isn't something bad. The trash bin wasn't outside, it was in the kitchen. And there's no zone for smokers, I just went to the front door. You're the a-hole. Am I missing something as to why it's a big deal that someone would throw away your kid's cart? You don't even know who or why. They don't know your kid. Were they supposed to tuck it into their wallet in case they needed him to offer real estate advice or something? 
It's a cute gesture, but strangers at a party wouldn't really have an emotional attachment to a fake business card from a six-year-old. You're the a-hole. Kevin would have not known about, and therefore couldn't have been hurt by the thrown away card until he made a scene about it. It wouldn't be the first time an adult threw away a well-intentioned but meaningless gift from a young child. You chose to make it a much bigger deal than it was, in a way that hurt your child. Why? To be clear, I think all the adults here could go jump in a lake, and I don't care about coddling their feelings. I think you're the a-hole because you made a scene that will cause more problems for Kevin both in the moment and down the line. Here's the next story. My partner 23M and I, 24F, have a 7-month-old son. This is our first baby and things from birth have been stressful in the sense that my partner took a long time to start being a good dad. I was doing 90% of everything until my son was about 4 months, then it was about 60-40 and it stayed that way since. Well, recently, I bought books for my son to read to him before bed and I thought it was a great idea we'd be able to have that quality time with him. Tonight, I asked my partner if he wanted to read our son a book before bed. He said, no, I don't like reading. And I said, well, you should read to your son at some point or another. It's good bonding time. Then there was just silence and he didn't really look at me. So I asked, are you really not gonna read to your son because you don't like reading? Silence again. So I said, I think it's stupid how you won't read to your son because you don't like reading. There are plenty of things I don't like to do, but still do them. He responded with a very grumpy whatever. He hasn't really acknowledged my existence since. I feel maybe I could have worded it better and my choice of words would make me an a-hole. Firstly, thank you to everyone who commented. I appreciate it and realize I could have worded things better. Secondly, as far as I'm aware, he doesn't have problems reading. He has read things from his phone before and didn't seem to struggle. Thirdly, people have asked why I had a kid with him, and plain and simple, it wasn't planned. It's not an excuse, but I pretty much couldn't have kids. Went to doctors and everything and I was getting tests done because I was trying for a baby with my ex-husband for years and would either not fall pregnant or end up getting miscarriages. I became pregnant because we didn't use protection one time. We had a discussion when I became pregnant that if he didn't want to be a dad, he didn't have to be, and he was more than welcome to leave if this wasn't what he wanted. He decided to stay and actually seemed excited to be a dad. Fourthly, he wasn't like this when we first met. He was kind, caring, and helped me out when I needed it. He also helped me with my disability as well. He now stays home all day with me. He gets paid from Centerlink to be my full-time carer, and mostly plays video games. He doesn't spend quality time with our son. He doesn't stop playing games unless I ask him to feed or change his son. I'm lucky if I get quality time with him as his partner. I wanted to clear up that I got with my ex-husband at 17, married at 19, and left him at 22. We tried for a child for five of those six years. <laughs>